almost done brewing. You know, I really don't need a second cup anyway. I've been putting myself in your shoes, and uh, you've had a real tough run, John, with your dad and then Jennifer. Those are two big losses, and anybody would react to that. And I feel like I've given you an appropriate amount of time for you to grieve and do what you need to. But there comes a point when it affects your work and it affects the people you work with. And, and I mean, uh, are you trying to piss me off because you're doing a hell of a job? If you want me to call Eric Pregat, sir, I will. There's no use flying off the handle. It's more than that, and you know it. Now, you're walking around here like a skell, hitting on this new girl like some lech. Oh, I'm just making conversation. Who do you think you're talking to? You know what, everything you just listed, it's got nothing to do with how I'm performing my job. I mean, have I blown off one day of work? Huh? Have I sandbagged it in one interview? How many nights you been out tying one on this just week? Just listen to what you just said, because it's got nothing to do with work. That's me out having a good time, which I'm entitled to. So if you've got work-related issues with me, lay it out. But if it's got anything to do with how I spend my time after I punch out of this place, I don't want to hear it. Get your act together, John. I mean it.